Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Twain here and uh, this will be a video on, well, a new leak that came out that I'm very hype about and I thought to the newer players, let's make a top 5 list of artifacts that you should invest in. So without further ado, let's get into this leak and guess what? We got Chase up in the building. Now... This is a leak that has been provided by one of my old guildies and supposedly he's very in touch with the Japanese server and the reason why I think this one is really accurate is because there are some heroes that are not in there. If it would show everyone, I still wouldn't know jack shit, right? But I think this will be the newest ones that will be coming out. When will they be coming out? I think it's on the very first week of October because so far every single one of these soul weapons have been released within two weeks notes that means it has been a week since the last the third batch so it will take another week for the newest one to come but let's go over the roster hey might be missed thanks for the follow my brother but let's get it popping we got ourselves chase we got a celica arch shay which i'm very curious about as well we got Fluss. we got ophelia we got priscilla we got Yuria, we got you know one of the very first npc ones that we are getting because aside from kane there has not been a single npc web hero that came out yet we got veronica as well so that will be the second one we got naroxis we got naya coming out we got mitra coming out and we got miruru coming out now we can debate on what and whatever uh, they will be like but we cannot really judge on anything how they are gonna work because I've been speculating like oh my god no if, if we if we get purple ones right the purple ones indicate that you will be granting the additional hits and to some extent it does seem to be true because Theo on hit Bernheim on hit we got Cecilia oh wait that doesn't work because she needs to do skills instead. So we still don't know anything about them. So let's not really speculate and get into my very top five of artifacts that I will be using as a new character and that I like the most either way. So without further ado, we got something. I got myself a three star of this. And the reason why I got that very early on, well, you may just have noticed, I got myself this Shamwild. I got one pull, four of them, and now like I, this was the very first, first time that I really willed this hard, so I was happy as shit, kid you not. Alright, so I got a 19% fill bonus on this one, and I still need to go over the whole event to get another one, so I still have a chance to make this a 4 star. Would I? think about spending even more money to get the four star i think it is because this is hands down one of the best artifacts ever <sighs> okay but let's get over to my very first pick that would be the abyssal crown this is hands down the best artifact that you can get especially for a newer player and you could debate right you could debate like why are you not picking the blessing of earth well guess what Blessing of Earth can only be used if there is one enemy. That means it can only be used at challenge raids. It can only be used at certain world bosses, but not everywhere. Abyssal Crown, on the other hand, can be used everywhere. That means it's taken a top spot. Now, also, where do you get these? Very simple. You go to Loman, you go to the shop, and you got yourself uh, this currency, which is simply gotten by hitting world bosses. That's it. So if you do hit the world bosses, get a nice amount of damage in, you can get yourself a lot of crystallized powder. It takes me about three weeks to get one artifact. For newer players, it obviously takes up a lot more. But you can only use this once, so make sure to get the Abyssal Crown instead of the Blessing of Earth. And don't make the mistakes that I made before, because I'm not using Blessing of Earth all that much. And that comes up to my second spot. Reason why I'm... No, no, no. I don't need the pick, Kazu. Come here. Reason why I don't pick uh, Blessing of Earth is a Book of the Mad. Now, this is not a substitute for Blessing of Earth. No, this is an artifact that can also be used everywhere. 
There's one downside, it reduces mana on some of your characters. Now, if you do have a character that doesn't give a shit about mana, my chase, then they are doing great. And on a three star book of the mat, it does more damage than a blessing of earth. That is why this book of the mat takes up my second spot. Now for a third spot, we got this one, the Infernal Whip. Now it's a lot of text, but what I can tell you guys is very simple. The longer the fight takes, the more damage that you will over time do because it stacks, it doesn't show up at the bosses, but whatever. More damage over time, keep that in mind. Where do you get this one? Very easy, if you do yourself a guild of conquest. So that means you gotta get into a guild do yourself some guild conquest. You can get yourself several rewards from it. And obviously in the ranking reward, if you get yourself the rank ones onto a guild conquest, you can get yourself this, you can get yourself that, and you can get yourself a random box, which can also allow you to get one of these tickets. And if you do rank very high, you can get a, another Velkazar artifact piece, really good. And if you do get a thousand of these, you go, up here, others, you go down here, Velka's our artifact piece, and guess what? You can craft yourself one of them. Awesome one to get. So, that one takes up my third spot. Oh, opening a present, thank you very much. Okay, I get, yeah, you get eggs for that business. All right, so that would be a third spot. Now the fourth spot will be taken by this one. This is a beautiful artifact onto one of your tanks. Amps up the HP of a tank, which normally has a lot of HP, and it will increase attack onto your full roster. Now, debatable because it cannot be used everywhere, but challenge raids can be very hard, very hard hitting as well. So this artifact definitely takes up the fourth spot without any question. All right, this can be gotten from an event that's running right now. So if you are a newer player, do that event. like. I don't want to pressure you guys, but do it. <laughs> if you miss out on this one, oh, you will be salty as hell. So that will take the fourth spot. Now the fifth spot will hold several ones because I got a few bonuses here and there. One of them would be the Soul Spring Water. Reason why this is very good. It's a PVP artifact, but it can also be used in PVE. It will give you mana from the start and it will grant you so much. If you got a mirror room, onto a three star, give her the soul spring water, just a one star, you can instantly pop some of her skills. Meaning that if you get an S1 off, you can kill off the whole team onto PVP, which is super insane. Reason why it's tied, there are other artifacts that take the same spot. That would be the ring of spirit morph. Now for the people that haven't seen me use this yet, go and check out my eclipse video and basically what it does at the start of the battle you get seven seconds immortality so the moment you're putting yourself up against newer waves immortality will kick in and you will never die kill off the wave within those seven seconds immortality and on top of immortality on top of immortality like you cannot die that is pretty insane so that one takes up a really good spot and I would say lastly we got one that uh, is a personal favorite. Also an event artifact but it is the cross pumpkin head. The reason why this is a very good one is it stacks amazing on Sonya but this is also one of these artifacts that is really good for bosses. Because if you got the cross pumpkin artifact you get HP increase and you get a radius of AOE damage 2% of your total HP. Now why do you even want this? It's very simple. You go here, you go to the Transcendence, and you go to the Experienced Fighter. And it says, if you are doing damage on any single one of these targets, you will be granting a debuff, which does 20% more damage onto everything. That is insane. So if you are not auto-attacking with your tank, more than one target, then the AOE stack onto the pro Cross Pumpkin will actually hit as well which means you will proc. Now, where is this used? Velkazar, Guild Conquest 3 is one of them where it's used. So do keep that in mind. Now, 
I would say that is my top five of the artifacts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you like to know the news leaks and whatever, make sure to sub, put something in the comments. If you guys think there are better artifacts than the ones I've named, please make sure to put that into the comments. I'd like to know what you guys think. But for now, this is Webby. Peace.